recent years, I've experienced various um, aches, pains, uh, twinges in my body. And um, what I've tried to do is I've tried to um, incorporate them and try to think about what's going on for me and uh, you know look at what the traditional uh, approaches would say and um, think about well how would I translate that in terms of what I've seen in the lab and how would I understand it and one of those areas that I'm very interested in is the area around the um, back of the calf the um, gastrox, the um, uh, um, soleus and the plantaris. Now plantaris is one of those things that doesn't really get much in the way of um, attention or, or discussion. Um, it's little and apparently it's absent in, in a significant number of people. I've never seen it absent in anybody that I've dissected. Um, I think one, it was one missing on one side of one, of one cadaver. Uh, but everybody else has always been there and it's a really interesting little structure and I sort of like to speculate on what I think it might be doing but I think it's it's contributing towards proprioception and one of the reasons I, I think that and one of the reasons I think it might be a, a bigger contributor to things than we realise is because um, a couple of people that I've been looking at over the last year or so, two or three actually, have been presenting with um, vertigo symptoms, benign positional but vertigo PPV, very common. Dizziness, standing up, you know, feeling very dizzy and that dizziness not going away. And it's, it's um, diagnosed as benign positional vertigo. And um, I came across a paper um, of some time ago that talked about the uh, gastrox contributing to inner ear balance. And so I started to work on these people and give these people advice around the basis of, of the gastrox being the root of the problem and it seemed to just go away almost instantly. So this is something that I sort of followed up on and um, I, I, think it's, I think there is a, a, a reasonable thinking about considering something like plantaris, which is very small, very thin, but quite, um, quite sinewy, sitting between two strong structures and ending up on the outside of the lateral edge of the uh, of the femur, sort of crossing the knee joint and, and ending up onto the femur, and blending quite literally right out into those fibres that we refer to as the um, iliotibial band, and and so therefore acting as a sort of like a little tensional draw, like a little tensional um, um, pull, allowing you to understand at any point in time where your leg or your foot is or your femur is in relation to your hip and everywhere else and it's kind of like giving you a little guide rope imagine that you've sort of on the end of a, of a of a kite one of those sport kites and you're pulling from one side to the other you only got to pull one slightly and it just veers off and and, and takes it around and together with some other structures that I'm interested in um, that end up on that sort of medial side of the knee, I think there's a lot of tension that's already existing there, but that tension needs to be played and those tensions need to be relayed in, in terms of um, nervous input to understand what our feet are doing and how grounded we are in relation to um, the rest of our body. Now the head's sitting right up the top, so if you're in balance, your sense of your balance um, is going to be, there's going to be an inner ear in relation to that fluid, but also the position of your feet. If you feel unbalanced, particularly if you look at elderly people, the tendency will be to go into more flexion. The tendency will be to change the load that's through your feet. And so it makes sense that that then has to be relayed and replayed, you know, much like string through a yogurt pot to the rest of your body. And I think plantaris may uh, have a role in this. So. Um, yeah, that's plantaris. Let's we'll have a little look at the anatomy of it and the, the construction of it and how it comes apart in dissection because it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and I think the fibres of it tend to go around underneath the foot. So I, don't, I think we probably don't play enough on the idea of feet and the backs of legs as far as balance is concerned. So um, yeah, well, something I'm, I'm keen on speculating about.